drag and drop import of audio material. Importing of existing audio files in Arda is very easy. Apart from the classical possibility of doing so through the import submenu, choose session import export import, which offers preview and file search capabilities. It is also possible to drag a file directly from the finder and drop it into order. You will now see how to import two audio tracks using the drag and drop option. Step 1. Unzip the topic 1 lesson 1 files.zip by double clicking it. This will open the archive utility unzipping the file. Now open the new created folder Topic 1 Lesson 1 files with a double click and as you can see you will find three audio files voice original, voice corrected and the playback. Step 2 to previously hear the track, open the QuickTime player by double-clicking on Playback WAF. The QuickTime player is opening and here you can use the play button and the slider to preview the file. Now I will do that and adjust the volume. Okay, let's see what we have. Okay, it's also possible to go to a different point. Okay. Okay, this file is working and should be enough so far. Note, if you do not hear anything while playing the file back with the QuickTime, it is possible that your output device is not set up correctly. To do so, to check it, choose from the Apple menu, uh, System Preferences, Click on sound and check what uh, sound output device is right for you. Step 3. It is also possible to preview an audio track uh, if you use a column view for a finder window. So I will close the QuickTime player and focus activate the finder window. Here we have different views, symbol, details, column and a very nice uh, view mode looks like iTunes. So choose the column view. This is also possible by using the key command, command 3. Select now the audio file you're interested in previewing and move the mouse over the right if you see the small play icon and now you just click it, you can also hear the file. Okay, that's enough. Step 4. Now it is time to fill our empty session with life. 
drag and drop an audio file of your choice directly into Arda. However, first switch back to the Finder Render window to Symbol View or press Command 1. Step 5. Drag now the audio file Playback WAV from the Finder on the free stereo track Playback. Here you should place Arda's editor window and the Finder window next to each other or one above the other. I will do this like this. Now click on the playback WAV file in the Finder window and keep the mouse button pressed. Move the audio holding the mouse button down onto the stereo track playback in Arda and let go of the mouse as soon as the file is on the track. Once completed, Ada puts a so-called region now on the stereo track. A region is here plotted as rectangle. In this rectangle, the audio signal is represented as waveform. Whereby the waveform describes here the level process over time. Step 6. Now uh, let's shift the region playback to the start of the session. To do so, move the mouse over the waveform and click and hold the mouse button. Move the region as far left as possible and release the mouse button. So I will do it like this. Okay. So next should be we should now import also our vocal file. So I will repeat open the finder window and track voice original this time on the mono track vocals. Let the mouse go, click and we'll move it as left as possible. Uh, the, the big yellow clock you're seeing, the so-called big clock, is helping you here. See? Okay. It's very nice. Now I use the slider down. Okay. Looks good. Looks very, very Nice. Tip for the future. If you drag one or more files from the finder into Arda, whilst no audio track have been previously created, Arda automatically produces additional new tracks with correct channel configuration, names them according to the file name and puts the region at the start of the region. But it must be tracked at an empty space. So here is the empty space, no track.